Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryda Matero and we are here with another video. Like always, if you like this video, smash the like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody. Now this video is all about on how to install the Techwear Pants inside your Cyberpunk folder. So make sure that you guys do download this mod. To download this mod you will need to scroll down. There will be some requirements but I will show you how to install them. Go to files then go to manual download and now select download. Then next go to slow download. And now you can download it to your desktop. Now unfortunately I have already downloaded the file so I don't need to install it. Now you can carry on with this process with the other mods. Now this does require tweak XL and I will leave this inside my description below. Again, make sure that you do download the manual download. This does require Archive XL and I will leave this inside my description below. This does require Equipment XL and I will leave this inside my description below. And lastly, this does require codeware and I will leave this inside my description below. This video was requested by the viewers and we're going to get straight to the point. But before we do, if this is your first time installing mods for Cyberpunk, then I do have tutorial videos inside my description below on how to start modding in Cyberpunk. Now first, things first we are going to install the tweak XL so go to your red 4x then go to plugins now next go to your cyberpunk again right click and open file location next go to your cyberpunk 2077 main directory and now next go to red 4x go to plugins and now you can select this folder and now drag it inside your plugins folder unfortunately i have already got it so i don't need to drag it in okay so i'm just going to leave it there okay because i do have saved uh, mods in here so i don't want to um, override it next go back to your main directory inside your extract folder next go to r6 and now you'll see tweaks okay all you got to do is go back to your gain folder then go back to your cyberpunk main directory then go to r6 and all you got to do is select this folder and drag it inside your r6 folder okay now once you have finished with that then exit out of your extract folder. Now next, okay, open up your archive XL extract folder and now you're going to repeat the process. Go to your red 4x folder, go to your plugins, now go back to your red 4x folder inside your game folder, then go to plugins and now repeat the process. As you can see, I've already got it there, so I'm not going to override it because I've got saved files inside there. Now go back to your uh, R6, okay? And then now, this is different. So go to config. Now go to R6 inside your game folder. Go to config. And then now, all you got to do is select this folder and drag it inside here. And then that's it and now exit out of your extract folder 
go back to your game folder then go back to your main directory now next open up your codeware extract folder go to red for ext go to plugins then go to uh, your main directory on your game folder go to red 4x go to plugins and now all you got to do is select the codeware folder and drag it to your plugins folder and then that's all you got to do then exit out of your extract folder now next open up your equipment extract folder go back to your game folder then go back to your main directory then go to archive go to PC go to mod and now all you gotta do is go back to your extract folder go to archive go to PC go to mod and now select both files and drag it inside your mod folder unfortunately like again I do not want to overwrite it so I'm just going to leave it as is next go to your R6 folder then now you'll see two folders here okay so let's go back to our main directory go to R6 folder and now you will need to go to your config folder go to config and now you'll see red user hints and now all you got to do is go back inside here go to red user hints and now select this file and drag it inside here unfortunately I have already got it so I don't want to do it now go to your scripts folder go back to your uh, game folder then go to config and I'll go to uh, R6 I think. yeah R6 sorry then go to your scripts and now drag this folder inside here and now exit out of your extract folder go back to your game folder then now select that and now, now lastly open up your techware pants extract folder this part is really easy all you gotta do is go to R6 on your extract folder go to tweaks and now go to your game folder go to R6 go to tweaks and I select this folder and drag that folder inside here next go back to your main directory go back to your extract folder then I go to your main directory inside your extract folder now go to archive go to PC and then go to mod go back to your extract folder go to archive go to PC then go to mod and select both files and drag it inside your mod folder then exit out of your extract folder and now exit out of your game folder and we finally have finished with the installing the tech pants mod now open up your notepad okay then I'll go back to the tech pants website go back to the description scroll right down to the bottom and you'll see the CET code copy this code you will need it urgently copy it okay and now paste it to your notepad okay really important okay now you will need to add this code into the game so let's go in the game right click refresh your desktop and I'll see you guys in the game and now we are in the game and once you're in the game okay now I will tell you guys the reason why I didn't want to overwrite the files because I have already got an outfit um, so I'll show you guys so this is the reason why I didn't want to uh, overwrite because I didn't want to lose this okay so uh, yeah see I, I already got modded outfits in here so that's why I didn't want to lose it so sorry if I didn't install it but yeah so anyways let's just get straight into it now with the code that I, I you know that I have mentioned before you will need to copy the code okay so go to your desktop okay and copy it okay 
make sure it's the whole code, the whole thing. Okay, copy it. Go back to your game. Now, press the key that to open up your CET. Okay, so press that key. Now you will need to go inside the console. Okay, so let's just only get this out of the way and go to console. And this is your console. Now come over here and now paste your code right over here. Okay, now lastly, press enter. Now wait for a few seconds. Sometimes it comes up over here. Okay, so just wait for a few seconds. Okay, okay yep. Now let's just exit. Okay. And now exit out of your menu. There you go. Now it should be posted. Okay, let's just go over here. Okay. Open up that. Then go to inventory. Then go to your wardrobe. Now it should be in here now. It should be. Oh, yeah, yeah, see? Tech pens right there. Void tech pens. It's right here. Now, I don't want to leave this one, but uh, where is it? Uh, right here. So, let's just um, try on some white pens, eh? So, yeah, see, guys? This is the white one. Let's try black one. Tech pens. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, let's try this one over here. So, yeah. It does work, as you guys can see. Uh, the tech pens is working 100%. I do actually like the tech pens though. Is this tech? No, it's not. It's not. Uh, no. I like the black one really. I like dark colors. Uh, so yeah, it does work uh, pretty good. But I'm going to put that back on. So anyways, uh, that's the mod key. And I hope you guys do enjoy using the mod and we're back again so i hope you guys do enjoy using that mod it's an awesome mod and like always if you do get stuck installing this mod or if it does get confused for you then just let me know in the comments below and i'll be more than welcome to help you out or if you do get stuck installing any other mods from gta v or cyberpunk mods then let me know in the comments below and I'll be more than welcome to help you out on that as well. Now, unfortunately, I am not active inside my YouTube comments. I am more active inside my Discord server. So if you need help fast and a fast reply, then join my Discord server. I'll leave my Discord server inside the help and support inside my description below. Join my Discord server and create a ticket and I'll be more than welcome to help you out there. So with that all said, if you guys did enjoy this video, or if this video was helpful, then smash that like button and subscribe for more content and tutorials. And I will see you all on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace, and I'm out.